Hey everyone. Today we are at the tonight we are at the Blundell's Cottage to do a paranormal investigation. It is haunted. So, yeah. I have paranormal equipment with me. And there's a story behind this stone cottage about a woman who tragically burnt here. Her name is Flora Blundell and she is said to haunt the premises. So if you guys see anything, let me know. See anything out of the ordinary. But there's what it looks like on the inside of the cottage. Very dark indeed. Now I've actually got a Polaroid with me as well and I am wearing a necklace as well because she will approach people wearing a necklace because she died wearing her favourite necklace. Laura, if you're here, do you remember me? I'm Jonathan, the young man who visited you twice. Remember? I'm here to respect you. I'm here to be polite. I just want to talk, have a conversation. It's just you and me here. I have some devices that will help help you communicate with me and to under, so I can understand you. And I can hear what you say as well. Hope you've had a good day today. Especially, I'd like to say Happy Australia Day to you. Can you make a sound? Can you knock on this wooden gate? Please. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's fine. I'll actually see if I can try and get the spirit box out, everyone. I'm wearing a necklace. You like that? I'm wearing a necklace. You died with your favourite necklace on, didn't you? I just heard a knocking sound. She's also said to be wearing a white dress as well. So if you do see anything, please let me know. Now, sadly, there's not much I can see due to it being very dark. Lots of good bats over there. Look at that. So yeah, I'll move to the spirit box and I'll see you guys in a bit. Radio, so I've got the ghost box with me. The spirit box, as you can see. And the batteries are dead. Hmm. 
Well, I've got something else actually, and that is, believe it or not, a Polaroid camera. Right here. So I'm gonna try and take some, take some ghost photos. Let me just put this back in the thing since it's not working. I do have a working EMF meter, so that should be good. I might have to turn my air, my plane, my, my phone onto airplane mode. Frog. Well. I have my Polaroid. Have to hold the camera in the other hand. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. So you can see here that there are three. cartridges left so I'm going to try and take some ghost photos so that's the first photo taken I will that in my pocket so it will because it takes a while for a Polaroid I'll try, maybe I can try and hold it like that what I'm going to try and do Is that so basically this is a Polaroid camera I'm gonna try and take some photos around here and I'm gonna see if I can try and capture any ghosts or whatever you know like Sometimes ghosts will show themselves, sometimes they won't. So what I'll do is I'll leave the camera running. i put it down here actually. So you can see what I'm doing. So there's a window over there I'm going to take a photo of. From the inside. I'm not sure that actually did anything. Now there's also here. I accidentally stopped recording there. It's actually a pretty good flashlight. Like if you can see, you can see pretty well in there. What was that? So we'll have a look around the cottage. There's some bunny rabbits over there. So yeah, I'm going to take some photos around and I'll see you guys in a bit, show you guys what I came up with. Right. So if you see anything, just knock 
Martin. What's that knocking sound? You can see anything. Let me know if you see a woman at all. This is frickin' creepy. I'm gonna grab that bag real quick. Let me just put that down for a second. We are back on our feet. Now, this here is utter terrifying. Let me just stop. Here we go. Corsets. You won't see anything at that point it's still fading in now when I get home I'll try and review my my footage the reason why I bought this Polaroid camera is hopefully so I can actually pick up ghosts quite quickly so I'm gonna try and get some of this on camera but not all of it here we go So I'll see you guys after many more photos later. See you guys in a bit. I would, I would also like to point out that there's a light show happening tonight as well for Australia Day. So I thought I'd show you guys that. Absolutely wonderful. Now, I'm going to be doing the K2 meter now, but let me just switch my phone to airplane mode real quick. Okay, so K2 meter's on. Is there anything magnetic here? Nope. Just trying to make sure nothing mag magnetic. Hello? Nope, nothing magnetic, nothing magnetic there. Flora Blundell, if you're here, can you make your presence known? Hello? It's good to see you again. 
Yeah, sorry about the spirit box. I couldn't really... Now, for everyone who is watching this... Do you reckon I've made a pretty good video so far? Mrs. Blundell? Well, there's our first piece of evidence. Did you die here? Red for yes, orange for no. Said that she approaches people who wears necklace so maybe she's standing right in front of me but I can't see her and neither can you guys this is really really strange well I hope you enjoy my I hope you like my necklace I wore it specifically for you Were you following me this whole time? That is a big, big yes. Do you remember me? I'm going to have to go in a minute, sadly. But it was nice talking to you. Well, I hope you are having a nice time tonight and I will see you later next time I come back here. Bye. So that wasn't the phone doing that or anything. If there's anything, that's either a phone doing it when it's not on airplane mode but my phone is on airplane mode right now. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. If you see anything, please let me know in the comments down below. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Radio, so here are some of the Polaroid photos I took. So these are the ones from the Blundell's Cottage. I think I see quite a few of the quite a few strange things in these. Yeah. There's this one. I'm not sure if you can see it. But there's something there. Actually, now it's the fire alarm. Don't know what that is, though. A lot of interesting things. Don't really see much paranormal activity happening. That's my... The flashlight camera there. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe a reflection of a light, I'm not sure. If you're wondering what I'm pointing to, it's that little white thing there. Now this is 
fairly hard to see. So I'm going to try and turn off my light. I'm going to switch it on air on um. Yeah, so now I've got it on flashlight mode to hopefully see if you can see things more clearer. Yeah. What's that white thing in the corner there? That's very weird. Now I think that there is a light. Yeah. And these are just two photos of the windows I took. There's another strange one there. This one is... I'm not sure what's in this one though. See, the, there's a fire alarm there. Could that be something? It's probably just a shadow. But yes, these are the photos I took. This one is strangely still pretty white. They don't really look... I'll leave it up to you to see if you guys can see anything. So far I don't really see anything other than a few orbs. I did check my footage, I saw quite a few orbs. Yeah, it's really... What is that? Looks like an arm. I'm not sure if you can see that, but... The hell? That's weird. It looks like there's a woman. It looks human, actually. Well, that's the photos.